Up until now, the only way to treat inflammatory bowel disease was through medications, some of which carrying serious side effects. But recently, Seattle Children's published a study showing a promising treatment that was once dismissed by the medical community. The study's author, Seattle Children's Dr. David Suskind, sat down with us to talk about the special diet breakthrough treatment to alleviate IBD. And then kind of put them around the side so that when they're, so that they fall through and get into juices. Preparing dinner in the Kittleson house is like cooking for a small army. Five kids, two parents, mom Nicole frequently enlists the help of her daughter Addie. It's important for Addie to learn to cook. She's on a special diet for the rest of her life. So the stuff that Addie can't have, I do in a completely separate crock pot like the potatoes and have the seasonings. Three years ago, Addie was unable to eat much of anything at all. She was needing to take a nap, like literally up to 10 times a day, she was sleeping and I was like, okay, something's not right. But her pediatrician said she just wasn't eating enough. As she got sicker and sicker, her eyes turned gray and her skin turned gray and her hair started becoming very brittle. Then came the sores. Huge blisters broke out all over Addie's body. Did she get bit by spiders in the middle of the night? Like, there's these huge red welts. Doctors eventually figured out that her painful skin irritation was erythema nodosum, a condition caused by a variety of illnesses. Addie was given antibiotics and steroids, but after five days of medication, the condition got worse. Like, they just exploded all over her body. They were everywhere. And I was like, that's enough. We're going to children's. So that was ER trip number one. ER trip number two came while Addie was still being treated for the skin irritation when she woke her mother up to an alarming discovery. The entire toilet is blood everywhere. The Kittleson family rushed Addie to Seattle Children's Hospital. She was immediately admitted as her health began to decline dramatically. We were preparing for her to die. It was the most difficult thing to ever watch in, in process. Um, you even thought you were going to die, huh? That yeah, was scary. But just as her parents feared the worst, doctors at Children's discovered what was wrong. Addie had Crohn's disease attacking her body from her mouth all the way down through her intestinal tract. I didn't know what the disease was, and so I was confused because I'd never heard of it. Crohn's disease is a subtype of inflammatory bowel disease, which includes ulcerative colitis. Seattle Children's doctor David Suskind was one of the first to treat Addie. He says IBD is an autoimmune disease, which means the body is essentially attacking itself. What we think is happening in inflammatory bowel disease is that there has been a shift uh, of the type of bacteria people have. And instead of having um, bacteria which are helping us, we are now having bacteria that trigger the immune system. Traditional treatments for IBD rely on medications, some which can carry significant side effects like cancer. So Dr. Suskind began to look for an alternative through dietary therapy and the effects of a specific carbohydrate diet, or SCD. With dietary therapy, uh, what we are changing is not the uh, immune system, but what we think the immune system is reacting to. So with dietary therapy, um, we're changing the microbiome or the bacteria within the GI tract. Dr. Suskin's research on dietary therapy and its effects on IBD have recently been published in the Journal of Clinical Gastroenterology. The study involved 12 patients ages 10 to 17 years old. The premise of this specific carbohydrate diet is relatively simple. A well-rounded diet removing food that can irritate the bowels. They eat um, salads and meats. They just stay away from uh, a lot of the processed food. Avoiding processed foods is so important for the success of the diet that Addie's mom now calls herself a label-reading ninja, spotting any ingredients that could harm her daughter. And pretty much if you can't read it, she can't have it. Nicole says when they first started SCD, she spent hours in the kitchen trying to figure out how to feed Addie. Now she's a pro and says it doesn't take much more time than cooking for anyone else. Hoping her daughter will never have to take medication, she's teaching Addie how to maintain the diet on her own, a skill to save her life. For her to have that power and that strength to keep herself healthy 
and in remission without relying on medication, I feel like that's the greatest gift I can give her. And Dr. Susskind has even written a book that has recipes and food preparation tips. He also has a website that explains the program at nimble.org.